What is going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Broken Paddock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and it got kind of late, we had to go to the store and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rear tire off. I found a spray bottle that I think is gonna be able to hold this solution since the oiler didn't work. We're gonna rip the tire off real quick and try and get this sprayed on before it eats the bottle. Hopefully it won't do that. Or, uh, and we'll see if it works. So it is a little late, so I can only work on it for a little bit. So try and knock it out. I don't know if it's gonna be able to hold in the bottle. The bottle seems to be doing fine. I don't know how the straw and everything else are reacting, but I'm using my, if it'll focus, uh, my black stone. Uh, of course it was not gonna focus, but I'm just using my black stone uh, Greaser and cleaner. I've had a couple bottles of this. This one was almost empty, so I used it to top off to the other one. And uh, so far, it's holding pretty well in the bottle. So hopefully, it'll hold enough, and I can use this to spray it. So let's get this wheel off. All right. So I can't get my other flashlight. I just wanted to kind of get a rough look at what it looks like currently, so you can tell how stuck it is on there. <laughs> And the pads are uh, pretty much done at this point. So I need to definitely deal with this. So let's get this sprayed. All right, we did manage to get it on there nice and thick. So smells great. It is automatic transmission fluid and acetone. So we're going to give that just a few seconds to kick in. And anyway, let's get doing some work there. So. Hopefully this will saturate it. And got it all over in there. Unfortunately, you can't really get to the back side to spray it that way. So, try looking for any other marks or clues as to what's holding it down. So let me go ahead and get this caliper off and uh, let this soak in a little bit more. Go from there. All right guys, sadly I did get out here way too late. I know it looks brighter in the uh, camera, but it's pretty much pitch black outside. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to get this done tonight. I did spray it, I'm gonna let it soak. I'm gonna put the tire back on so I can take the jack inside. Uh, I'm gonna leave the brake rotor, I'm gonna leave the brake calipers. Eh. I'm gonna have to put the bracket back on just so I can put the caliper back on so it's not hanging. Put the wheel back on, drop the jack. I'm gonna let it soak overnight. I'm not gonna tighten everything up. Um, I'm gonna come out first thing in the morning, try to knock this out so I can finish this video for you guys. Which you guys will be obviously seeing it right now. So at this point, I've already done what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. I will see you guys in the morning and we'll try and see if we can knock this out. It's also nine o'clock, so I can't be hammering too much. We've got a couple projects for tomorrow as well besides this so we'll do this in one video and we'll do everything else in another because i did get my new windshield so i have to do some wiper blades and i'm gonna look at my rear camera so i do have some more maintenance to do if i can't get the brakes done so i will see you guys in the morning all right guys i know it's a little hard to see because i'm running my flashlight but i do have the tire on i'm gonna let that stuff soak in overnight it's supposed to work really well um and tomorrow i can just go ahead and beat, go to town on it to beat on it until i can't um so i think that's gonna be our stopping point Good morning guys, we're gonna go ahead and try to get everything started. We're gonna go ahead and get the wheel back off, get the caliper and the, the caliper holder back off. Those are all finger tighter, should be. I didn't use a wrench on them. So we're gonna try and get all those off, get the tire back off, get this thing back jacked back up and start hammering away at this rotor. Uh, it looks like the bottle of spray had held up, so that's at least a good sign. I'm also gonna turn the uh, emergency brake off. Apparently, instead of turning the emergency brake off yesterday, I opened the hood. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we do the correct thing today. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, and since we're finally gonna attempt the passenger side as well, we'll go ahead and get it. Sprayed as well. So if we're gonna let that soak in, I'm gonna start drawing the driver's side, getting all the calipers and stuff off, and then I'll break this side loose and try to get these a whack. So this is what it's supposed to look like when the rotor comes off. This is the passenger side. Uh, I sprayed the spray, took everything off. Uh, I think I bumped the rotor once with the hammer and it came right off. So 
I gotta deal with the driver's side. But uh, I'm gonna put the new one on on this side so we can get all this started. So let me drag the new stuff over here and I'll show you what I've got. This one is the rear passenger side. I'm gonna clean all this up. It does have the threaded holes on this one. So if this one does get stuck, I can thread a bolt in here and it'll push it off the rotor. So that's the other reason I'm switching to these, but they are the uh, drilled and slotted. So these are the power stop brakes. So let me go ahead and get this one on. And I think that's the box for the pads with the extra spring clips. The whole reason I didn't do these before I moved was the rear brakes I had were the wrong pads. I think I have them off of a Jeep. I'm gonna end up posting them up online if they're not ones like my brother or somebody can use. I may give them to them when they're out here just because uh, they're nothing I can use them for. So let me go ahead and get this on and follow up with you guys on. Look at how much better that one looks on the truck than that one. I am disappointed that this one only took like two little tiny taps to get off. Uh, I can't get the other one set off, but look how good this one looks. So we're gonna go ahead, open these up, get it all situated. I'm gonna spray some uh, brake clean on that. But you got the new pads and rotors. And the things in the lubrication. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that. Let's get this open. Get them on the car. So we did take the brackets off and I did hit these with a wire brush a little bit in order to clean them up. So we can get these new ones on, the new plates installed, or the new pads in installed. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean the caliper up as well. And get the pistons pushed in with the uh, disc pad and caliper service toolkit. So we can get those all twisted and pushed in correctly without sandwiching them down. Got the pads all put on. We got the lubricant on both sides. I know you can't see the back side, but it is. Uh, so you can still see these are the extremes. They're for towing and more off-roading type stuff. So I wanted to make sure that was what I ended up with. And then I do have the rotors. I did spray with the brake clean, so they are cleaned off. Now just to tighten the uh, 216s and then uh, adjust the caliper tool. So with the caliper tools they've all got little numbers on them along with the spinners so where you can use a wrench to attach them if you need to cool thing is on here there's a spreadsheet for what each number goes to so all we have to do is find the Ford one or maybe not maybe I can just uh, figure out which one it is and then uh, no open disc for Ford Australia da, 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 da. so let me figure out which one it is there's also another page on the inside and then the cool thing is I can just attach it straight to that and spin it and we'll figure it out but let me go ahead and figure out which one I need and I will come back we managed to get the caliper compressed got the caliper back on got the caliper holder back on everything's all tightened up with the new rotor so I think the next step is just to get the wheels on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tire back on this side just so it's a little bit more balanced uh, with the jack stands and everything else. So in case it does fall, I am covered. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am a little upset that that one did come off as easy as it did because I've been doing nothing but struggling with this other one for like three or four days, uh, trying to use different lubricants and stuff, trying to bust it loose. And the other one pretty much just fell off once I pulled the wheel off. So. It's a little disheartening, but we're gonna go ahead and finish getting that tire on so I can take a break and grab something to drink, wash my hands, because this is the good hand, unfortunately, that is not as dirty. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a break. It's starting to get a little warm outside, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get some water and some fluids. And then we'll go ahead and just start hammering away on the pass on the driver's side again. And then hopefully we can get all this wrapped up today. So I'll catch you guys after my little break. All right, guys, so we were, again, unable to do the driver's side brake caliper uh, or the brake rotor with beating on it on both sides dealing with all of that so we're gonna go ahead and call it quits for right now 
I'm gonna take a break, get this uploaded for you guys, and then in the next video, we'll go ahead and try to knock out the front so I have three out of four corners done. I'm gonna work on calling a mobile mechanic to see if they can come out and just knock out that one rotor for me. Maybe they have some tricks or something or aren't afraid to take a swing at it. I've been swinging at it for quite a while. So we're gonna wrap this video up and I will catch you guys in the next one.